must be amazing to work with him, I would think. Yeah. Oh, he's sure. incredible. He's incredible. Yeah. And collaborative, I, would, is he, I understand that yes. he lets you, you know, tell me about that. He has an incredible gift of collaboration. I mean, as much as he is, the entire film is already inside of his head, every shot, every little thing. He invites everyone in, wants them to build their own worlds, wants them to bring as many different things and ingredients to the table for like a giant feast, you know, instead of like being super, you know, controlling and just sort of mm -hmm. saying yay or nay, but... Zach is incredible. I think it was it was kind of like Christmas working with him because you always you know that you're like planning and preparing and wrapping and doing things, but you know you're gonna have to wait like you know nine months before you can actually go and like see the final you know Christmas tree or whatever and like seeing it on the big screen. And we just got to see IMAX the other night, which is incredible by the way. You mm -hmm. have to go see IMAX. it in IMAX. Wow. It's I can't just, even imagine. It's yeah. adults, you know, and I mean, I, I literally, I was like a child again. Like, I didn't even remember shooting some of those scenes because mm -hmm. they looked so, you know, different and full, and mm -hmm. it was amazing. What was it like putting on the costumes? I would think also those costumes were very helpful to you girls oh in terms of thinking about who I am playing. Vanessa, exactly. I mean, that. the very first time we all put on our costumes together was at one costumes. of our, our fight yeah. costumes, was a camera test, and we walked into the same room, and we were just blown away. Well, because we've been training in gym clothes for the yeah. past three months, and had never seen it, you know, no makeup, whatever. And Yeah, and it's like, I was just like, these women are strong, amazing, sexy, confident ladies, and I cannot wait to pull out our weapons and start fighting by your side. It was totally. incredible. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny, too, because you, you get all these girls, you know, women on a set, and you would think, oh, God, a bitch fest is going to be happening here. But I don't think so with you guys. It seemed to me, even just by watching this movie, that there was a very close bond. Is that what happened? I, I think I think the myth of a bunch of females in a room in, equals always a cat fight is sort of maybe uh, some sort of strange generated rumor. Because every time I feel like I've been in a room full of women, it's like collaborative, amazing, supportive, generous, mm -hmm. you know, awesome. And this was just like a beautiful, you know, representation of that as all of us came together, fully supportive of each other, loved each other, would take a bullet for each other, and it really... It shows in the film, you know, so I think that this might help put that rumor to bed a bit. <laughs> yeah, oh good, because really, it really does show. I, you could really feel your tightness in this film and very Excellent. collaborative. Um, and, you know, Oscar Isaac, wow, um, I don't think I've ever seen him in a role like this. Man, and him just being around all you ladies, I feel sorry for him, really. You know? <laughs> but what was it like, you know, just to work with him? Like, he really blew me away in this film. Yeah, it was really great. I mean, he is such an incredible and talented actor, and um, he has some interesting scenes and I I know me personally would be scared of him at yeah. some point which worked perfectly I mean he was so into his character and just was fantastic he blew my mind mm -hmm. you guys shot in Vancouver um, any good uh, hot spots you know what did you do to wind down after a hard day on the set the Sham what was that place called it's this Shangri-La at Marquette Mm -hmm. oh, at yeah. John George's Marquette we just had chow pizza. pizza oh my gosh we just have amazing food all, really all, we did, all we did was eat food. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know one bar in out. Vancouver, but like all we did was after, which is eat food. Eat. Well, yeah, because you <laughs> trained all day long. You gotta, you know, you've gotta eat something. Yeah. Um, after, you know, so have you, you guys have all seen the final product of this? Mm -hmm. um, when you're working with CG, especially when you don't know what the heck you're fighting and all this, and then you get to see, you know. It, I can't even imagine what it's like to be on a set like that, especially working with somebody like Zack Snyder. Well, what's different with this film is that, you know, I'd say it's 85% actually really built sets and probably only 15 to 20% of CG. So, you know, a lot of the skies were CG and some of the other elements and some of the, uh, the last fight sequences were a lot of computer graphics. But a lot of it was built for us. You know, I mean, we had an incredible production designer, Rick Carter, you know, built these incredible worlds of theaters and textures and asylums and hallways and to the minutest detail of you opening a drawer that no one would ever see and it's like there's matches and things and crumbled written notes and I mean literally we got to live, we got, we were built an incredible world to live in so I didn't feel like I was in a film that was all very like CG heavy. No, a lot we also of it, had a DJ oh, yeah. who was the uh, CGI supervisor and he you know, had kind of a mock version of what it was supposed to look like. So that really helped me mm -hmm. in the cockpit, flying all these vessels. Well, you guys did a terrific job, my God. And, Thank uh, you. I'm, I'm waiting for part two where you come back <laughs> and, and just kick everybody. So nice. Kick more people's <laughs> asses. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Thank you Good very job. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.